Namaskar, Nileshok here and welcome back to Introduction to Indian Calendar. In this module, we are going to look at the motions of the Earth, the Moon and the Sun. To calculate time in a wall clock, the movement of certain objects such as the long arm or a short arm are used against a background reference frame and the displacement is used to decide how much time has elapsed or what time of the day it is. It's the same thing with the celestial clock. In this case, the movements of the celestial objects such as the moon and the sun, they are employed to decide what day it is, what tithi of the day it is, what nakshatra of the day is, what season is prevailing, and also what time of the year in terms of either the lunar month or the solar month. To understand this, we have to understand the motions of the earth, the moon, and the sun. Let's begin with the motions or movements of the earth. There are many different motions of the earth, and we are not going to look at each one of them. There are four specific motions of the earth that we will be interested in this course. To begin with, the Earth's motion around itself that causes the day and night at any given location, depending on the position of that location with respect to the sun. So the first motion of the Earth is around itself. The second motion of the Earth that we are interested in is its motion around the sun. There are two additional moments of the earth, motions of the earth that I'm going to mention, but we are not going to uh, discuss those until or discuss those until towards the end of this course, when we get into the discussion of making long-term changes, making corrections to the calendar. Those two motions are the first one, first of the two, is the precession of the Earth's axis. And the fourth one is the obliquity or inclination of the Earth's axis. Most of us, most of us, most of you would know that approximate time the Earth takes to make one complete rotation around itself. That's about 24 hours. Around the sun, approximately 365 days, which is same as the solar year. For the precession of the Earth's axis and for it to make one complete rotation, it takes a very long time of about 26,000 years. And the cycle of obliquity, which you can also think of as an Earth's nod okay earth's axis nodding and making one complete circle and that is even takes longer that one complete cycle takes 41000 years again as i said for most part we are going to focus on the first two motions of the earth around itself that is in 24 hours around the sun in about 365 days, which is same as the duration of one solar year. Let's look at the motions of the sun. Again, sun has a motion around itself and we are not going to discuss or deal with that motion in this class because it does not come into the picture as it relates to the calendar, specifically Indian calendar. The second motion of the sun is around the earth. And I wonder if anyone can take a guess for its duration. By the way, the around itself, as I said, is not relevant. Okay, it takes uh, place in about uh, 30 days. 
the second motion around the earth if you have guessed the number let us see if that number is correct well yes it is going to be equal to 365 days the same as the solar year remember the motions are relative and this is something every student of astronomy every student of indian calendar must get comfortable with whether we say earth is going around the sun or sun is going around around the earth one must able to understand what is exactly meant by that statement without any confusion if not go back to some basic material on astronomy you can do this online through some notes some searches a simple basic book on astronomy but that is something i would consider a prerequisite for this course let us look at the motions of the moon again you can think of many motions for the moon around itself very interesting and has some relevance only in the sense of druka pratyay that is to say what do we see on the moon whenever we can observe the moon and why that particular view never changes the answer to that question is in this motion of the moon around itself okay however in this course again we are not going to focus on that because it has nothing to do with understanding indian calendar or calendar in general however the motion of the moon around the earth is very critical and we will discuss that motion how long does it take for the moon to rotate around itself it takes about 27 days and for a moon to go around the earth in fact you are going to see two numbers and when i take you to the demonstration i'm going to explain why these two numbers are there so there are two numbers it says it takes 27 days for the moon to make one complete rotation but it also is saying another number 29.53 days is the time for the moon to go around the earth from the same phase of the moon as one phase, same phase to the same phase again as seen from the earth which is to say from the full moon to the next full moon or from the amavasya which is a new moon day to the next amavasya or the next new moon day that's it so let us look at a demonstration and become familiar with the motions of the earth the moon and the sun <laughs> 